Every day in the student research training program is an adventure. Duke Global Health Institute's Student Research Training Program, or SRT, brings together undergraduates and faculty advisors um, to work with members of local communities in low resource locations, whether here in the United States or abroad. We partner together and work to create, implement, and assess a variety of research programs that will be of benefit to these local communities and our community partners. Since 2011, we've actually had 25 teams in 10 different countries. Ghana, Guatemala, Haiti, Honduras, Kenya, Sri Lanka, Tanzania, and Uganda. As the faculty director of the SRT in Santa Cruz, Guatemala, I have taken students down to my research site and I can truly attest that there is no day that is the same as any other. But with that in mind, let's see what a typical day might look like. We'd usually meet up with our local partners, um, Michaela and Lydia, and we would plan out our day. So we would start with the dental and hygiene lessons with children in mostly the primary schools. And then we'd progress during the afternoons to doing water interviews in the homes and collecting water samples to test for E. coli contamination. Um, and at this, after that, we'd meet with a child in the home and we would give them our cognitive test um, to kind of measure and see how malnutrition might have affected their development. While being in each classroom, we talk to the kids about brushing their teeth, the importance of what they drink, what they eat, uh, how long they should brush their teeth for, how often. And it was just great seeing the kids comprehend what we were saying and they knew exactly how to brush their teeth, but many of these times the children simply don't have the resources to brush their teeth. So we gave them toothbrushes. In the afternoons, we do the water interviews with people. We really try to understand how the people in the homes use their water because we weren't sure if contamination was coming from the tap sources or while they were using it at home. And at the same time, we also try to have an understanding of their personal hygiene as well, so how many times they wash their hands or how, many how they took care of their water, if they boil their water, if they use a filter as well. Y la municipalidad pone cloro en su agua. Ha at bacir at suun o an on or y on cloro pa ya. Y ahora por tu pan la cimiento lo que te ya. And after that concluded, we we found the the children in the home and we give them a task to understand how their cognitive development is going. Sí, perfecto. Y finalmente and afterwards we'd measure their height and also the circumference of their head to, un to see if they're malnourished or not. Um, and again, the idea was to see if there's a relationship between malnutrition and their cognitive development. In the evenings, we transfer the water samples to petri dishes and analyze the petri dishes from the day before for E. coli growth. We'd also enter the data from the day's water assessments and cognitive testing. Our days were really full, but the variety of activities is one of the things that made the project so interesting. I think for SRT in general, uh, one of the biggest draws that it has is this really awesome mix of both community service and research. So with the community service you're doing, that allows you to have a really immediate impact in the community. And then with the data you're collecting, you can hopefully have a more long-term impact in the community over time.